Today we're making the Wilson Smash. Uh, Derek found it on liquor.com. It's an interesting combination of ingredients with an absinthe, a pineapple gum syrup from Library Company, and I don't know what's happening to the right of me. <laughs> It's our anniversary, so save 15% off at AwesomeDrinks.com using coupon code CMC7YEARS. Put down your porn! It's time to make a cocktail! Or just put down your dicks. Get yeah. the porn up. Oh, well, let's your vagina. Yeah. Or you put, can put that away. Po just poke it in there. Yeah. yeah. Finger bang. <laughs> That's Ian Andrews. We're not even drunk. This is no. weird. Um, so this is in replace of Sunday Night Shooters, because what I did is I built out a whole cocktail list, <laughs> and then I counted them up and went, oh, I already have five. So, um, I was going to build the shooter, and I realized we ran out of shows. It happens. Mm. Yeah, Get especially when we don't pay attention. So, we're going to make the Wilson Smash. Two ounces of aged rum, we're using barbon court. Calls for specifically. Uh, one ounce lime juice, three quarter ounces pineapple syrup. We got the Library Company uh, pineapple gum syrup. Library Company rocks. Uh, dash of Angostura. Uh, two dashes of absinthe, so don't be scared. It's just two dashes. Uh, pinch of French mint. And some club soda, which was homemade with some baking soda from Derek. Um, that wasn't actually, I, I put it in there. It, it said aged rum. This was the one I think that was using, um, um, does that not open yet? No. Oh, sweet. It's a freshie. Uh, <laughs> I just buy oh, stuff. Oh, look, I report. I'm, uh, I just buy stuff and that, that happens. Um, hmm. It's from Haiti. Okay, it's Haitian. It's Haitian. So I bought, I bought that based on location. Because <laughs> like, you needed a Haitian? Yeah. You gotta have like, a, did you, are you completely overlooking my rhyme? Yeah. You bought it based on location because you needed a Haitian? Yeah, I did. I overlooked that entirely. God damn you, Derek. I had a, a, a significant argument today, no, this week, with somebody who, who said I was disrespecting my, my spirit by drinking it from the bottle. Oh, yeah? Who said that? I don't know. Was it someone in the industry or...? No, no. Huh. Man. Huh. It's a little, um, a little light. It's a little ethanol-y. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of. It's not a Does body. Does your profile picture body. have a skull? Me? Yeah. No, I have no. I have the CMC uh, logo, the same as logo Derek. That you should see right in the corner if you're watching. Got a whole ounce out of the line. It took me like an orange to get almost an ounce. I know. What the hell? What's wrong with these oranges? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. How, how, you, you want you want some ice? Ooh. That's pretty sad. Okay, so I'm gonna. How many of these did you need? I this? did not know. I was. You're like, this could worst. be just like uh, that other crazy. Thing. Oh, look at this. You're getting all like, what is going on here? This is not the Ian I know. Dropping. He gets yelled at. Oh, that's more. That's alright. It's like two dashes, not two drops. Oh, alright. Yeah. Don't worry. Alright. I gotta cover it. <laughs> Whoa. I'll trust Unlike you. Unlike Derek. I just want this one to settle better. A pinch of mint. I don't really know what that means. Oh. How is it? Oh, I'm we have this tea strainer? Yeah, I was going to say we need a double strainer. This one should do, right? Slim it! Okay, so we got the Asian one, we got the lime juice, pineapple syrup, mango, absinthe, pitch French mint, and the top of the club soda. All right. We are Boom. cooking with fire! Fire! Oh. Oh. oh that's a Ouch. I went to go like that, and my fingers hit the edge of the cup. Oh, that's good. Kind of caught me off guard. You add this too? Yep. And the angle? That's it. And the angle. Yeah. So, the reason I keep moving this over here is so that if I want to take the top down shot for the show, it's not in the, way. <laughs> the logo's there and you can see. Understood. Oh, you sorry. want this? Yeah. Was, so, we're going to. Did you already put this in there? I put the. Yeah. Really? It said one pinch, so yeah, I, I just took like that a pinch. Um, we'll garnish with it. Don't worry. Sure. The uh, the goal of the, the tea strainer in this case, which I now have in stock at uh, awesomedrinks.com because, oh, not only am they in stock, but they are they were like seven ninety nine. I think I got them down to like three ninety nine. Oh, awesome. And you have one that's the size of your head? I do. These things yeah. are good to have because you never know when you're going like yeah. put, to put, put something with like a, into a cocktail that's going to create so a little So this was the water. older one. It's about uh, it's bigger. a little bit. Um, I ha but I've got two sizes, so instead of this one, I have two different sizes, so that's going to confuse people by it when, when Jennifer has to pack them, because there's a 5-inch oh, diameter great. and a 4-inch diameter. Not me, it's going to confuse Cheryl. Yeah, you're right. Um, and, and so, the, the goal, in, but, this one, when I was getting them, they were costing me a lot more, so I just sourced from a, 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 a direct from the provider. source. From the, you, you know the step, the, these, these guys here, no, the, these guys. Yeah. Um, so I went to their company. They have a brochure. It's like 700 pages of products. I'm like, guys, Jesus. 
So uh, it took me a while, and I went through them, and um, I saw that they had tea strainers. Dude! So I got two different sizes, but at like a quarter of the price. I'm not going to lemon wheel garnish this. I'm going to mince, mince sprig garnish this. What? It says lemon wheel garnish. I'm going with a mince sprig. Yeah. I'm, I'm making a, an on the field call. Yeah. Uh, we can. We can do both Calling if you want. an audible? Yeah, calling an audible. If you want both, Thank you. that's the, the whole like fucking lemon. Oh, yeah, let's do both. Um, I'll cut across you. Jesus Christ. I'm not scared. I was just, well, I know, but I am. I know you are. And I was going to cut it for you. Oh, look at It's like you made that thing thin like a, a what do you call those thin things? Ah, cheese. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. No. Cheese. Jesus Christ. Come on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's cheesy. All right, let's go. I would have just laid it right across the top. Yeah, of course you would have. Because <laughs> it would work. <laughs> <laughs> so, there it is. The Will Wilson's Smash. So if you wanted to see how I did this, you can watch... What episode was that? The first one of the week? This was Tuesday's the episode. Rum Collins episode. Yeah, you can watch Tuesday, Rum Collins. Yeah. But yeah. I'll give you a brief executive summary. You buy an easy whipper. You can use for whipped cream. You get the case of. You can use it for a lot of infusions. Yeah, you can. made a Singapore sling variant. There's a. I have another one of these over there but for the infusions. So for infusions, you use the NO2 cartridges. These are CO2 cartridges. The CO2 cartridges, carbon di uh, carbon dioxide. Yes. Yeah, carbon dioxide has a flavor. Like mm. it's weird, but it has a flavor. So if you infuse with this, it's going to have a kind of an off flavor to it. But it's a flavor you're used to having with sodas. So I had a little pinch of baking soda, whatever. You could use some salt. Um, and you just put this on, charge it up, with, you know, throw that in. Then you blow out all the charged energy and you've got yourself a, a lightly carbonated beverage with very small bubbles. Yeah. And like uh, a, a slight hint of flavor. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, hmm. Oh, I figured it out. Absinthe? Yep. yep. <laughs> like, it's really subtle, I'm isn't it? I'm getting something weird out of that mint that I've never had before. You really get a great sorry so flavor in there that's yeah. not overpowering. It doesn't taste said, like black licorice. We've said this before in drinks that use absinthe well. Yeah. It's not overpowering. No, it's a little what's, fennel. What's great about this is it's really hidden. Yeah. It, it, it kind of sneaks up on you. You gotta like, stare. It's like, hey, we're all different. Uh, I'm not. It's just back there. <laughs> no, um, so you got that early. Yes, it's um. Life of Brian. No. Life of Jen. Life of Brian. Yes. Oh yeah, we're all. I was thinking of the bring out your dead. That's yeah, same that's, type of scene, but different. different yeah, thing. different. Okay. Wow. That's weird. Yeah, the mint comes in there. The absinthe is on the back end. Like at the, when once you're done tasting everything else, the absinthe kind of lingers there. The Pernod. I think it's when the mint starts to subside. Hmm. Yeah, because the mint is kind of it's powerful. masking the 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 black. Liquor. The liquor isn't potent in here. No. Uh, so the one of the things that I thought was that I was kind of penalizing rum barbecue for. It's not a really expensive product, so I'm not expecting this thing to just light up my face with awesomeness. But mm. it's very light, yeah. like on texture, flavor. It's it's kind of hollow in the middle, um, at least from that one sip I took out of the bottle. But it works here where I think. I'm not 100% certain. I think the a, a Demerara rum, like the, the Hamilton, would change this and make it more of a darker, richer flavor, mm -hmm. which may distract some of the flavors of the other products within here. I don't get a whole bunch of pineapple. I do get a little bit of pineapple flavor, but not the same as a pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. I guess there's a little bit of caramelized pineapple, but not, not anything yeah. substantial. I was trying to preserve some of that in my mustache, but I think I can run out a little longer. <laughs> Mark Roper gave me that idea. I usually do that. <laughs> hey, you. Um, mm, Jen's got to put this in her face right meow. <laughs> Seriously? Why did you just do that? Because the chat, the chat room. room. <laughs> oh, right meow. Wow. Um, it just tastes it's like a good drink, meow. You hear what I'm saying? Meow. <laughs> meow. <It> Seriously. <laughs> really. Really. This really. fits a Caribbean. If you're having a Caribbean cocktail party, which if you're not having one, you should totally have that. You should. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, have your own tiki party have your own themed drink party because uh, it'll be fun the thing is if you go tiki you're limiting your your options i'm, I'm just throwing that out as oh a i know thing, yeah. but if you go caribbean now you have tiki and mm. daiquiris rum punches and, rum punches and yeah. this and a lot of smashes anything with rum smashes, in it. Yeah. like you open it up yeah and and this is a strange smash because there's no normally a smash is just like throw a bunch of fruit yeah go crazy 
this is just He's not like listening to you. He's reading. Any okay. other cocktail? Shut up, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> see your cot. Oh, I gotta listen. Um, <laughs> now I've got to listen. Um, now that the topic's changing. <laughs> Go to everydaydrinkers.com slash survey, fill out our survey, watch a previous episode to find out why you should. If you want to know what Ian's reading, you can join our live streams on Friday nights. Friday nights? I feel like a curd. <laughs> but you're not talking towards it. You're just not talking at all. Hey, what's that? Hey, look. Okay. It's a stringer. One of the new ones that you have at awesomedrinks.com. It's a it 3 inch conical. H-I-C. Dishwasher safe. Harley. Oh, yay. Because I throw those in the dishwasher all the time and they always rust. Oh, not, nice. not mine. Not this one. Mine don't rust. Sweet. Um. So there you go. Just wash your safe. So you can get your uh, your. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. No. You want you want to follow Ian on Twitter. It's at Ian Every Day. Yes. It's kind of hard. It doesn't roll off the tongue. But it doesn't. Yeah. But it, um, it, it, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It should be like a punch in the face. Yeah. Kick and, in the uh, dick. So you you can at Ian Every Hunt Day if you want to see a brand. Let me know the, what brand you want to look for, and I'll try to find it. So, or you can send me an email at Ian at out there. Ian at everydaydrinkers.com also, and uh, I yes. try to track stuff down. Yeah, I mean, if you ever want to send Ian a message and, and, and have it actually get to him where he doesn't get so many as I do, yeah. um, it <laughs> makes it easier, even though I still answer him. But anyway. okay. um, this was from liquor.com, by the way. Oh, yeah. Mailing list. If you just go to, if you aren't on the mailing list and you haven't been to everydaydrinkers.com, just go there. It'll prompt you. Um, otherwise, there's a link on Facebook. There's a link on the sidebar or someplace on, on Everyday Drinkers. It's Link City. So those are the things you need to do. Um, uh, the big thing we know, we already covered that. Well, uh, recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Did you, did you, did you cover that already? I did not say that. So you want to go to recipe? At, no, you don't want. You to can go submit there. your drinkers. Uh, sub, sub, submit your recipes there. Wow. I will drink submit it. your drinkers there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the drinker. John, <laughs> you got the recipe. Bill, we'll Steve. Drink it. Yeah, recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. <laughs> Within That's reason. If it's nasty, it's going to the back of the queue. Right. Probably. And if you if you don't want to, if you want it nicely formatted, you could just go to everydaydrinkers.com, click on the recipe submission thing, and it just gives you a like put in your this here instructions here, nice. um, and then it just goes in that way. But that's what you need to do all this week, and that's it. Yeah. But take the survey right now. You're getting called. Oh! Out. I know. You're getting called out to follow people back, Ian. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm on it. I'll get there. He's gonna follow everybody back that follows him. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's almost got as many followers as me. All right. All right. We're done. Question of the day. Question of the day. Is do you have a sweet or savory tooth? What? Is Crown Royal a Canadian thing? Yes. That's a of pretty finite thing. Yeah, it's Canadian whiskey. Uh, it's a sweet tooth, a savory tooth. How, yeah, you're right. How did you? How did you meet your best friend? Oh, there you go. So if you don't have a best friend, then how did you meet your cat? Because <laughs> you have a cat. Because uh, <laughs> people that have cats <laughs> don't have friends. That's what they do. Well, I bet Derek. <laughs> I have like I have, just don't punch me. I have different circles of friends. Sure, so, yeah, like, so do I. I have so my like you guys, plus circle. Well, you guys are like my college circle of friends, right? So I met right. you guys my freshman year of college. Right. Right. I have like my high school circle of friends. Which you still is have those? Basically, Dr. Plummer. Yeah, I just have. Dogs. So I met him in like seventh grade. I have my work circle of friends like Dan. Right. I'm, and he's probably, one guy. He's my best friend at work. You know. Right. You um, have a best friend connection from each one. Yeah. So I met Dan at work. We were working on a project. They kissed. Uh, we kind of make out of it. Yeah. It's cool. And then and then. Cool. Well, okay. I, I keep getting good. I, I have the same thing. I, well, I, I'm doing it right. I have yeah. I have what do you call what circles connect together? Uh, the thing. The Venn diagram. Yeah. Thing. So I have a, you uh, have unions. Yeah. I have a union. I, like Rob. He's yeah. a, a friend from college, just like you. But he's also a friend from work. Yeah, because I had him. He's following me to work places. Well, up. you guys were also living for, living together, friends, because you guys hooked me up. <laughs> you guys supported me for like a year. Living together, together friends. Yeah. I was like, Ron's never lived with me. We're roommates. Yeah. <laughs> roommate circled. Yeah, we and we've shared a pizza. Yeah, it's Chinese food. Yeah, I hops. We've land partied. We've had people. We've had yeah, land parties. Sleep on our floor. Oh, I hop could happen tonight. Yeah. <laughs> There's no kids. It's not very paleo, but it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go there? I'm like, all right, what would you like to order? I'm going to have a blueberry pancake with, like, bananas and a bunch of other stuff. What are you going to have? I'm going to have the paleo pancakes. <laughs> That's not even a thing. I can get eggs. Oh, there That's you true. go. Eggs. Yeah. Yeah. No milk. That's so boring. Go no to, milk. If you have to pay to go to IHOP to get eggs, <laughs> you just get eggs here. I can. It's lame. I had them this morning for breakfast. All right, folks. We have a live stream. Is Dogs are better than cats. Dogs are better than cats. Live stream's awesome. We have questions of the day. <laughs> Ian has a cat. I'm unfollowing him on Twitter. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yeah, the best part is Ian's just now getting into Twitter, and it's like so already public. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're good? I think we are. We did well. All right. Good job. Good job. Wide old-fashioned glass sausage
Absolutely. Some other stuff there. Li- sure. Library company. Uh, Bitters and syrups. And, oh, pineapple gum syrup. Yeah! Go there, buy that right now! Those library guys are great. They're out of Austin, Texas. Uh, I've met them for the first time down at Tails. Yeah. You've met them before. They're good they're guys. They're normal humans. Yeah, they're cool. They're just struggling yeah. to make a business from nothing. Cool guys. That's what you get. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> now, go drink. We're teaching you how to drink. Flipped, it looks right. You can see the oil is floating on the top of it. I don't know if that camera will pick it up, but maybe we can see it. It's there in, uh, I feel good in real life 90 FPS. We can see this, yeah. Is, is real life 90 FPS? I'm guessing because 60 FPS is as good.